What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with a Rome 2 battle for you, we've ha had a bit of time off Rome 2, focusing on 12-12, but we are back and with an excellent 2v2 battle between Carthage and Macedon, we have two Carthaginian armies versus two Macedonian armies, and this is full of great tactics and just lots of uh, tactical like moves, it's just like, I was very impressed by it, it was a very very competitive battle, so we'll quickly go over some of the army comps, um, for you, I'm sure I've put a time down for those that aren't so interested in the army comps uh, You can get straight into the action So for those that are stick around for the army comps um, We have four units of Carthaginian cavalry for this Carthaginian army um, Plenty of Libyan infantry, mercenary noble, uh, warriors, Iberian swords uh, African pikemen and Cretan archers And basically all the usual sort of stuff being brought by Carthage No elephants um, and we have a general's bodyguard for their general. Uh, the second, um, second Macedonian, uh, Macedonian Carthaginian army is made up of Mercery Scutiari, uh, late Carthaginian hoplites. So don't often see these hoplites being brought. I don't really find these hoplites very beefy compared to some of the other ones, but we'll see what they can do in this battle. Mercery Italian swords um, and lots of. Uh, companion cavalry and some uh, Nubian noble cavalry along with noble cavalry as their general and Libyan javelins so he's gone for javis which is an interesting decision since they lack a lot of range but they're uh, pretty deadly if they get in close so he's actually brought no Libyan infantry himself so um, he's not bringing like the heavy infantry that they rely on or any pikes which uh, all we can see of Macedon is they have a loss of thorax pikes a loss of thorax swords some slingers, peltasts, um, and they have Thoros spears kicking about along with the Salian Cav, um, some archers of their own, and I think that's about it. I think they have, um, I think that is about it. There is, it's all hidden here in this forest though, currently. So um, I'll quickly fast forward and hopefully we can get to the action. But I mean, actually, I might make a cut. I make a very small cut because I think Macedon is probably going to hide in this forest and uh, and not do a lot. So I will get back to you when the action is underway. So here we go, the first shots of the engagement, and uh, Macedon is giving the giving the taking the first blood. They're uh, killing a few noble fighters who have been now being forced to return to. Uh, like out of range almost, but I mean I can just see over here. We'll, what do we have? Citizen cavalry, citizen cavalry going in for a charge, not uh, against these Libyan Javis, but not protected by any cavalry. You can see in the distance, Carthage is quickly mobilising some new Midian uh, cavalry to come and help support. But these citizen cav are doing very well and getting in there. So that's the first lot, and then the second lot is uh, sticking into these Javis and then going in for the second wave. They're gonna make it just about. So, I mean, can Carthage quickly mobilize his cavalry? He's got some to pin down these cavalry here. Uh, the other citizen cavalry units kind of got away. He's going in for a second charge on these Numidian. Uh, is their missile cav, though? This is the thing. So, I don't know how well they'll do in combat. They're pretty damn well armored, though. They look very, very nice with their silver shield, uh, silver helmets. Um, but, I mean, they look like they're routing the cavalry, uh, the citizen cav. And who is winning in this fight? Uh, losing decisively. Wow, these uh, missile cav are not to be messed around with. So here we go, it's all going on here. And now there's some Thessa Thessalian cav coming out. Oh my gosh, these Libyan uh, javelin men are getting absolutely destroyed. They're just like, good God, what did we sign up for? I mean, Carthage needs to do a better job of defending his missile troops. They could be very handy late game. And um, especially javis as well, they could be very handy. Um, if just to throwing, throwing javelins over the front lines, very useful. But I mean, these cavalry need support from infantry desperately because no wonder they're losing so much uh, across the entire front. Look, they're retreating again here. They need infantry support, but you can see in the tree line over there, you can see the uh, Macedonian pikes are just happy to stand there and just watch their cavalry get gunned down. And actually, they're killing quite a lot of theirs, a lot of um, Carthage, Carthage's cavalry now when they come too close. But I mean,. They just basically, as you can see, Carthage 
is just surrounding this forest. And Mastodon is basically just going to stay here, it would seem. Oh, actually, no, he's not. He is going to mobilize. Thorax pikes are coming out. They're marching out. So, I mean, they really needed this about a minute, two minutes ago when the initial cavalry charge happened to help support this cavalry because they could have done a lot of damage because Carthage has not had everything in position. His infantry is not ready. Um, his cavalry has had to quickly be mobilized to try and save what's left of his missiles, which is not a lot if you look at this. The Libyan Javis are all but gone. So, I mean, you could say that the cavalry's done a good job, but... And they're pretty cheap, those javelin men. I mean, and they've killed a lot of that cavalry at uh, Carthage. So, I mean, I think Carthage probably has the upper hand still. Um, on that sense, but I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of pikes which aren't useful against, uh, which cavalry aren't that useful against. And already he's just sacrificing these javis. Poor guys, look at these guys. Having to go in and fight these pikes, like, oh god, we've got just a sword and a shield. And they've been setting against probably the most elite troops on the battlefield. Poor guys. So these poor Libyans are signed up for this. Oh, that guy's just like, just kill me. Kill me. Yeah, so, I mean, poor Jack. I, none of them even got away. None of them got spared. Good god. And here we go. So the pikemen are now just arriving into the front line. They're putting down their pikes over here. But, I mean, Carthage is happy to retreat. He's just going to pull away. Because you can see... Well, which is a smart move because, I mean, he's not really being supported. He's, the more he drags this uh, army away, the less support he's getting from what forces are in the forest. Um, or the separate army. And it's becoming a 1v1 now, almost. So this Carthage army is going to face off against this Macedonian army. And then this Macedonian army is facing off against this Carthage army. Um, okay, so we have the pikes engaging. Oh, Macedon really needs to put down his pikes because he's just getting killed by a lot of uh, African pikemen right now. Okay, he's put down his pikes here. These ones haven't put down their pikes though and they're getting just destroyed. Really needs to put down his pikes. He's made a massive mistake there as the Macedonian player here um, in not putting down his pikes. And they're getting flanked now. I mean, I like this formation that they have going on as well. Like, pikes, uh, Iberian swords. They're not really actually helping that much. The more pikes than Iberian swords, the more pikes. It's kind of like a good mix. I mean, look at all this cav, though, now. Just sweeping in and just surrounding them. The general here is getting beaten up by these Numidian cav. And it looks like there's going to be a huge cavalry fight on this far side. I was just keeping an eye on it. Oh, my gosh. That is a massacre from all those... Javis, I just saw that, like, thought, oh no, oh no, uh, yeah, I mean, that's like half that cav unit just instantly just massacred by Javis, but I mean, it looks like the pikes, uh, yeah, the pikes for the Carthage have won here against the Thorax pikes, um, so it's going to come down to these cav to really what decides the battle, well, actually, it's not, there is still a lot of pikes left for Macedon, um, and it's still early in this battle, but I mean, I put my money on a uh, Carthaginian Cav here to win as it's melee against shock. And the longer this goes on, the more chance they have of winning. But here we go, new Midian Cavalry coming in, some Companion Cavalry coming in to help out. And these Salian Cavalry are now surrounded. And they're probably not going to get out of this. This is them done. Being shock infantry, uh, shock cavalry, sorry. And also being surrounded. It's not looking good. Yeah, melee loot. Use it. They're already losing. Yeah, combat even there, though. We've got a nice little fight going on in the forest. If they can turn this flank, then they could then possibly uh, sweep in here and help support these units. I mean, this Thorax Pikes unit is not even fighting. They're happy just to stand there. What is going on? There's some bad micro going on here by this Mastodon play, unfortunately. But, I mean, this is a good little fight going on down here. In the forest. We've got Thoros Spears fighting a uh, noble f swordsman. And just really no and some Libyan infantry, actually. Some ve a very small unit of Libyan infantry. Oh, no, they're going to get executed, I think, by these Thoros Spears. Oh, maybe not. These Thoros Spears are either refusing to throw... Oh, that guy got hit, killed. I mean, they were either refusing to throw their spears, or they just missed. I mean, yeah, the, these Libyan spears are actually getting messed up. Not many of them left. How many? The Brave 39. 
And yeah, that cav battle's all, all but done. And that pike unit just kind of got isolated here and he's getting murdered. So it looks like Masson's already falling back on his uh, tree line again. He seems to have destroyed most of this other Macedonian army himself. The Italians back here are doing what the Italians did in World War II, just basically annoying the enemy. And uh, just keep harassing. And uh, being slightly affected at it. I mean, there's, they're holding up three units to two. And they're routing this one as well. So they're doing quite a lot of damage. So hopefully they can do some good damage. There, are those Italian swordsmen. Uh, Mercenary Scutiari here fighting against pikes and uh, Sorak swords. They're probably going to lose that because it's swords versus pikes. Um, so you really want to disengage from that and probably try and just get around the flanks. Because, I mean, Macedon's really not um, like micro very well at the moment. He's happy just to like let his pikes stay in combat and they're getting surrounded in points. I mean, he's, he's a clash here with Scutiari and pikes. I mean, they've already got... Their, but they're nicely in a into the pike line, so they're actually going to do some damage um, just before they got their pikes down, the Scutiari clashed, but I mean, I don't know oh god, that guy there, that was some nice moves it already looks like these Scutiari have had enough and they're going to run away, yep not breaking, just being pulled back, smart uh, African pikemen now going in against the thorax pikes we have the pike battle of the century it will seem oh, and they're getting javied or well, not Javi, actually yes it is, Javi's, they've got Peltasts at the rear doing some damage back there. And they've got their own Oscutiari going to throw back though, so it looks like neither side wants to engage, but they really should because that's going to stop um, any missiles coming in because they won't want to get friendly fire. So I mean, if I was Carthage now, I'd move in. But I mean, look at these guys, they're just like, I can stand and abuse you, that guy's really beating up. I mean, yeah, these guys are just like, we can stand and shower each other. Nothing will happen. But I mean, it looks like uh, these noble warriors are basically one here. Why are they? Who are they find Peltasts? Right, if these noble warriors win, they really need to just start flanking around, get around, force these pikes into combat some way. Um, Mastodon here really needs to start pushing. Don't know why these units here aren't mobilizing. They could get around the rear of this Carthage army, and they could do some real damage. Carthage in the uh, Mastodon in the back here doing some damage with his companion cavalry, routing some more Carthaginian cav. Really need support because otherwise these cavalry units are going to just uh, slowly kill off this companion cav. You could even send these uh, thorax pikes in to help support this general because he's going to need some help in some way. But he's going to pull them back instead. Um, and I, pres pres I don't know where he's sending them. He could either send them through here, route this Mercy Scutiari even though it's losing. He can't really help with this, uh, with this cavalry. What's going on over here? The Italians still annoying them. Yes, they are. And they've got it down to one. It's now 2v1. These Italians have done an amazing job. I mean, this this uh, Carthage army is all but beaten, really. But these Italians are holding on. And they're going to probably destroy this Thorax Swords unit. Don't really rate Italian Swords myself, but they seem to have done the deed this time. They seem to have done quite well. What we've got here, we've got a lot of Cretan archers here fighting a lot of Peltas. With the Battle of the Archers going on over here. And who's going to win this? Um... I'm going to say the Peltasts, just because they have shields. And I presume that they are probably slightly more elite than these Cretan ar archers. For that reason. But I'm not sure. Yeah, already breaking some here. So, yeah, I, I think I'm right on that. Uh, so, I think, well, if they win that, then they can, again, flank round. Macedon really is in the ascendancy here. And uh, Carthage really needs to do something quick. It needs to break this... Pikemen that's going on here. They're not even fighting each other. They're just staring still. They got closer. They're not even poking each other to death yet. And these noble warriors here are just cutting them down. Macedon, do something. So save your pikes. Carthage has a lot. Has the uh, has the cavalry advantage, but that is it. I'd say. And like I said, if you can get those pikes in the right spots, then. Uh, Cavalry won't matter. And he's got a lot of pikes left, his uh, Carthage. Not Carthage, Macedon. Um, and that general is still doing a lot of damage. I think he might be dead, though. I think this general is dead, and it's just his bodyguard left. So, with Macedon's other general... I actually, yeah, Macedon, I don't think, has either of its generals left. 
So that is huge to Carthage. You can see the balance power is going ever so slightly back in their favour now. And they've won over here as Carthage. So, I mean, it's coming down to this area. I mean, there's still a lot of Macedonian troops left. Oh, no. Here we go. Here's the other general for Ma Macedon. He's still alive. So we have one general down for Macedon, but the other one is still alive. I think Carthage has both of his left. This is going to be huge. So, I mean, they're sending this ragtag force here to hold off this support uh, force for Carthage. Um, they really need to engage this. They need to surround these guys. Surround these pikes. They have so many pikes here. There's no need to stack these guys all up. These noble warriors as well have been doing so well. The noble fighters, they've been doing so well. Just like, they must have got so many kills. But, I mean, they're getting cut down in the back now by pikes. They're just getting poked, poked away. Carthage really needs to support these guys. These pikes really need to get involved and start fighting the other way as well. It's not looking good for Carthage. But the cavalry, the companion cavalry, can they help? Can they rout these guys? Surely. Surely these men can save the day. They, all they can see is a wall of pikes that need breaking. Kill these men. Oh god, are they gonna get their pikes down in time though? Are they go where are they going in? They're going in here. Of course my the guys I get don't actually get into combat. These cavalry need to get out of here. This cat this cav is not gonna fare well against all these pikes. It's very close. Extremely close. This has a lot of There are a lot of cavalry left, is what I was trying to say. Um, but I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this. I mean, if Macedon boxes himself and gets this general, if he saves this general, should is losing quite massively. Oh, he's just getting poked in the side by pikes. If he can save this general and box himself in, there is a chance that they can win it by like that. Oh my gosh! Companion cavalry here. I thought these were... No, these are Thorax Pikes. I thought they were poking the... I thought they were African Pikes poking the, the Macedonian General, but no. But these Companion Cav just smashing in and destroying them. And these guys are... Uh, those Pikes are not getting up. I mean, they have sort of have and... But they're going to get cut down by that cavalry. Is the, gen the General's dead or is broken? So, I mean, this, and these Thorax Pikes are breaking because of it. They're being supported now by more swords. But, I mean, there's still a lot of Macedonians here in the center of this fight. And Carthage is very short on infantry, especially Pikes. They really needed to have broken these Pikes, like I said, about five, uh, ten minutes ago. Well, not even that. Five minutes ago um, when they had them in line here facing each other. And, uh, and they had noble swords that could have just gone around the side and killed them all. So what have they got left? They've got a very small pikeman unit here at 41. They've got noble fighters, uh, which deserve retirement at this point. These guys, the two units that they've had, or two or three units of them they've had, have been absolutely amazing. These Libyan infantry left, and then a lot of cav. And that's it. And it looks like a Macedon is sort of forming a box. Of, oh my gosh. This is a hedgehog of pikes. But let's just take a moment to look at the battlefield. Let's look at all the death that's gone on here. So much death and destruction. All the cav that died over here initially for just a few javis. But I mean, imagine if they had these javis now. Um, and they probably would have used up all their ammo by now. But I mean, if they had some just left for that, they would couldn't form this box shape. Because you'd have to come out and fight them just to get the javis. And they would be so useful now. Um, I don't know if any of his infantry actually... Ma um, that Carthage has has any missile missiles left either. Certainly Libyans and mercenary noble fighters have uh, missile capability, but I don't know about any of the others. But it looks like Carthage is going to sit back for a moment and try and work out how to break through this. Um, so I will make another cut um, and I will resume when uh, the clash, the final clash begins. So it looks like we have the final clash about to happen. Uh, you can see that the Macedon has formed another square, a different one this time. 
They have the uh, pikes all on the outside, apart from this one area here where there's thorax swords, and they have their peltasts in the middle. Um, clearly out of ammo. I mean, we Carthage has them surrounded. They're probably shouting, "We have you surrounded! Give up! Take the honourable surrender!" I don't know, something like that. And then it's like, "Never! We will die for Macedon, for Alexander's legacy." And then Carthage is like, Alexander's been dead years. We've forgotten about him. Everyone's forgotten about him. Stop going on about him. But I mean, I think it's going to come down to a cavalry charge to just try and break through these lines and then the infantry will go in because there's no way the infantry are going to pierce through this. If they get it right, I think, if they aim here, then they could probably break through and then the whole formation's undone. I think that's what this cavalry here is going to do. So I'm going to anticipate that they're going to come in here. Here we go, I can see the, here comes the cavalry, they're going up to a charge. This is the general bodyguard here, yeah here he comes. In he goes, bang! And in they go, and surely these noble fighters will go in and support now. And the new Midian cavalry are in there as well. And they're surrounding. And they're on no, they've got very low morale has mastered on because their general is dead. And now they're going out to attack. Oh no, I don't know what they're doing really. They've broken their square though, ever so slightly. And that's going to cause problems. But I mean, yeah, the cavalry's in there now. It's do it, done its business, it's died doing it. And now it's noble fighters have got to kind of go in there and uh, finish them off. And they're ever so slightly doing it. Are they breaking? The peltasts are breaking. I think the sword's broke. They really, yeah, here they go. They're starting to all slowly break. Uh, these Macedonian, uh, Master, these thorax pikes, are now coming out of their square, and I don't know what they're doing really now. I guess they, this one could surround these African pikes. Um, it's going to be ever so close. What's the balance of power looking like? It's still fairly even, although the swords are just breaking now. I mean, yeah, if you're getting out of the box, you're now making it very easy for these cavalry. Look at them; they're just going to surround these pikes here. Charge into the back. Oh yeah, that's them done. They'll break easily just like that. And sh how many pikes are there left? Two, two. Yeah, it's not looking good. This one's pretty healthy. This one's pretty healthy. Combat even. Combat even. If this general mobilizes, they uh, they can easily just surround these pikes, and that's it. That'll be GG. But the and these noble fighters. I mean, good God, they have gone through hell. It's just coming down to this cavalry now. They don't have a... Actually, they could just go back to back because these pikes, but I think they're... I don't know. They're still both... Still both surviving. I'm quite impressed. There's barely anything left either side. Oh, there. They've broken. A hundred... What's that? Oh, 86. These guys were like... Still very healthy and they've just got a couple more killed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that'll be them. That's the nail in the coffin for them. That is them dead. And then anyone that gets up is getting killed by a mercenary noble fighter. Yeah. Easy kills for them. They have earned their pay today. And that other unit's now breaking 35. And these one on 46. Oh, this is it. So Carthage is going to take the day. Macedon tried to make its last stand. And it failed, unfortunately, for them. And it was a costly victory, indeed. Um, so we'll end the replay and look at the battle results. So, and um, this was sent in by uh, King of Bohemia. Uh, so thank you very much for him. Uh, he did an excellent job with his, uh, what is mercenary noble fighters, for instance. Look at them, 237. Wow, they did amazing. 378. Wow, I didn't even see that one. That must be the one that survived at the very end. There, they did insane. These guys were certainly worth their money. Um, even as new mercenary Iberian swords getting 105 kills, that's actually pretty good for them. They're not very strong, so I mean to get that many kills is very good. 130 kills for his Libyan infantry is a very good result for them. 156 for his pikes, pretty good as well. His arch is getting all over 100, 100 kills, most getting over 150. His cav doing relatively well, one getting zero kills, but I mean the rest did pretty well. I think this one that got zero is probably the one that got uh, killed basically instantly in one javi throw. Um, 
Then the other Carthaginian player uh, got getting a lot of kills with his companion cavalry. Um, and not much else really. Like his most of his entry did get out uh, overwhelmed by the Macedonian player players. Um, but I mean his Italians did okay. They did a lot of good job uh, good job of just harassing. His noble cavalry getting two hundred and eighty six kills, sacrificing itself at the end. Um, his Javi's doing very little, but they would have been so key um, at the late game. So a quick look at Sneaky Bastard's army. Uh, great name. Uh, he would. They were pretty sneaky to start with uh, in the forest. Um, his pikes. I mean, look how many pikes he brought to this battle. So many. Um, some of them did okay. I mean, I think some of his pike got over. Uh, got killed before they can bring their pikes down. I think the one like that got 44 was one of them possibly. Actually, no. I think that's one of the ones that survived because of the amount of men left. But 175 kills, very good there. Um, and his Thorax Saw is also getting around 150 kills between two of their units there. Um, and then his Peltas is getting 178, and they're pretty much the outstanding things that did well there. Um, the other Macedonian player, not actually doing too well. I mean, 76 for one Thorax uh, Pikeman. His Thessalian Cavalry doing okay with like 79 kills. His General did okay with 136. That's the only one that actually tipped over 100. So, I mean, not so great from him. But, um, well, that's all I can really say for him. I mean, they were actually outnumbered as well with Carthage. They've done excellent uh, out of that result. So, anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this uh, battle and you want to see more uh, Rome 2 custom battles, then please leave a like. And if you're new around here, then subscribe to join the Papal Legion. And until next time, Legionnaires.